you are learning Power BI, then this is the series for you. Start from video one to learn all the basic concepts of Power BI. This particular series had more than 150 plus videos to teach you each and every concepts around DEX, around Power Query, so that you can enhance your skills in Power BI. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video of beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss one list function that is list.average. So let's look at the uh, definition of list.average or what is the uh, documentation around that. So list.average function can take a list and provide us average of that list. There is an optional precision parameter is there which you can use. So example has been given a list has been taken with 3, 4 and 5. These are the numbers. And uh, this is a list of numbers and that has been provided to list.average and it has given an average of these three numbers. List can have n number of numbers and it can provide the average of those. Another example has been provided that you can give a list of dates and those dates can also provide you an average and we are getting a date as an average. So we need to test it out. So let's jump onto the Power BI and test this out. Onto the Power BI, we need to do this in Power Query. So to go to the Power Query Home tab, transform data transform data we go to the transform data and then now we are going to create a blank query first of all so to create the blank query query under the home tab new sources blank query and we got a blank query we can double click or right click rename and we'll call it average one and in this average one right click advanced editor or under the home tab there is an option let's create a list two comma four comma six comma eight comma ten and just say so angular bracket within angular brackets i'm giving the list so i got a list now now i want to take an average so no need to go back and jump back to the you know advanced editor we can simply go ahead and write down a list dot average and start of the parenthesis end of the parenthesis at the end and then press enter and we got an average of six because this these numbers are even numbers and six is in the middle so that's the average now let's change it to 9 let's say the last one and then you will see the average changing let's make 6 as 5 and then you will see further uh, change in the average and let's change it to 3 so we are getting new averages based on the numbers we have in the list we can increase the number in the list and we can get different different averages now let's say I have a table another table I have this table and in this table uh, I want uh, you know one more column where I can see the average of all these columns now what happens is when I use in some different table I can use the table and the column name as a list but when we are at the same table how do we get the table name we, because there is no table data right now available when we are doing the processing these steps so what we typically do for that is we go to the advanced editor and find out what is the last step name. So this is let's say my last step name. And now if I want to create a custom column where I need the A1 from with the table name column name because that is what with the table name and the column name which is basically a list. So I go here and I create a new custom column and then we call it average let's say average of A1 and we say list dot and a1 so I got 4 as my average 1 2 4 and 7 are my numbers and I got 4 as my average and uh, if needed you can change the data type of this one so let's say to decimal numbers right now when I need to do it in another table or when I need to do it in blank query then what I supposed to do then I can simply take uh, I can go to a blank query and I can simply there uh, go to the advanced editor and I can write down list dot average and I can take data and a1 and that's going to give me the average now we have seen one more example of date so let's quickly try the example of date I right click go to the advanced editor I remove this from here and now I go ahead and write down dates so hash date is the shortcut method to get the dates 2022-01-01 20, 
comma day hash date 2022 hyphen 0 2021 01 comma 02 no hyphen is there hash date 2022 0 1 0 3 close the parenthesis make sure list is complete close the parenthesis of the function and let's see what does we get so we got an average we are getting a little bit different average because this is dominating we make it 3 okay so now we got second as an average and if i move the date let's say further to let's say 15th of the month the average will move accordingly so no fractional date means it's complete date which is coming so go ahead and try this out this function list.average and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.